All right, so this is Dr. Tushar Mehta, and now we will be discussing the questions of Grand Test 168 from Orthopedics. So let us start with our first question. Which of the following is not true? You have to be very particular about the terminology used not true okay about plica syndrome of knee let's not get into the options let's first solve the question plica syndrome of knee femur tibia fibula all right then we have the polyback surrounding every joint capsule Inner layer of a capsule is what is called as, I'm sure everyone knows, synovium. There you have this fantastic bone, patella. Now what is plica? Plica is an embryonal remnant of the synovium. This is capsule, okay? This is capsule, this is synovium. There are certain synovial invaginations. Are you getting my point? There are certain synovial folds, certain synovial invaginations, which in singular are called plica. In plural, they are called as plicae. They persist in more than 70% of the population. They persist with the development. Four plica in front of you. Since it is superior to patella, suprapatellar plica, certainly infrapatellar plica, fibula is on the lateral side, so lateral plica, tibia is on the medial side, so medial plica, which is the most common persistent symptomatic plica, it is the medial plica, which gives you the maximum symptoms, it's always the medial plica. What kind of symptoms? You might want to know what kind of symptoms. On the under surface of patella, you have a discrete thing called articular cartilage. I'm sure everyone knows about it. This plica can act as a constant chronic irritating factor to that articular cartilage which is inside the patella. So this is patella. This is patella. You're looking from the back. This is the front surface. This is the posterior surface. So there is an articular cartilage here. Now this invagination can poke from the middle side into the articular cartilage and can constantly weaken it. Cartilage, chondro, soft, weak, malacia. Since it is of patella, patelli. So plica can potentially present as a complication called as chondromalacia patelli. This chondromalacia patelli is the most common cause for anterior knee pain. Are you getting my point? This chondromalacia patelli, worldwide, it is the most common cause for anterior knee pain, particularly in young females. Anything apart from that? Yes. This pain worsens with squatting. This pain worsens with cross-legged sitting. Bottom line, anywhere, if the knee flexion, understand you guys? If the knee flexion is more than 90 degree, whether you sit cross-legged, whether you sit cross-legged or whether you squat. So if knee flexion is more than 90, the pain has to worsen. Okay. How do you diagnose it? Very simple. Investigation of choice, MRI. Nothing apart from that. Any gold standard investigation, arthroscopy. How do you deal with it? Arthroscopic plica excision you have to cut the plica otherwise things will worsen but whatever damage to the cartilage has happened has happened you can stop further progression of the damage by got my point by all right which of the following is not true it commonly presents as anterior knee pain wow it's true it can be associated with chondromalacia patelli true Plica more than 1 mm may be present in over 70% of the population. True. Lateral patellar plica is the most common symptomatic plica. Nope, it is not true. Which plica is the most common symptomatic plica? It is the medial plica. 